Up next, we have the boys under 11 70 meter hurdles. We're going to be watching three heats taking place, which also means they go straight to a final. It means the top two gets that automatic qualification, and then we'll find our fastest times in the Heat one, lane two, we have Heinrich Stradom. Lane three, we have Malibongwe Machweni. Lane four, we have Franco de Toy. Lane five, Liam Steinberg. Lane six, Ruben van Weyck. Lane seven, Okumunle Machuchula. And in lane eight, Stefan van Heerden. And they're off clean start this time around for our boys. Who's going to get that automatic qualification position? We see Gauteng running really well in the outside lanes and well as the inside lane. Is it going to be a Gauteng first and second? It is definitely going to be, it definitely is a Gauteng first and second. That is Francois de Toy coming in second place and taking the victory. Ruben van Weyck, unofficial time for Ruben, 11.56 seconds. And getting third place from Northwest Province, we have Heinrich Stradom. Well done to our boys under 11 70 meter hurdles. It is all about getting that qualification spot. And we see that Ruben van Weyck is really happy that he managed to secure his qualification. Up next, we have heat two of three for the boys under 11 70 meter hurdles. Athletes that we can look out for in this race. As we look at the lane draw, lane number two, Leon van Staden from Northwest Province. In lane three, Milan Engelbrecht from KwaZulu-Natal. Filling up lane four, we have Michael Guarinda from Limpopo. In lane five, Elsie Monique from Gauteng. Lane six, Benjamin Nsenga, also from Gauteng. In lane seven, Sahile Bila from Mpumalanga. And closing it off in lane eight is Ivan Vermeulen from Gauteng. So these technical things are very, very important. And they're off. This is the boys. And 11, 70 meter hurdles. He too running very well there from Gauteng. We have Elsia. And Elsia is doing very good as he pulls away from the rest of the crowd. He's going to take the victory here. What will the time be? Unofficial time of 11.30 seconds. Well done to the man on screen. Elsia Munik from Gauteng. Also on the outside from Gauteng. Ivan van Mellen getting that second place. And they will automatically qualify for the final later on today. Up next, we have the final heat for the boys under 11, 70 meter hurdles. Let's look at our lane draw in lane three. We have Martinez Conradi from Western Cape. Lane four, Dian Reineke from Free State. Lane five, Rudy Kutia from the Western Cape. Lane six, Corne Conradi from Western Cape as well. They might be brothers or cousins in lane three and six. Lane seven, Dylan Rue from Northern Cape. And closing it off in lane eight, we have Keelan Hubert from Gauteng. And they are off clean start this time round. First time round, we love to see it. Look at Western Cape competing against each other, the three athletes. Unfortunately, one just stumbling there and Free State coming through in the small stature there. Who is it going to be? It is going to be Western Cape lane number five. That is Conradi Corne from Western Cape taking that victory in an unofficial time of 11.22. But hot on his heels from Free State, we saw Dian Reineke. Rather, the winner there on the screen is Rudy Kutia from Western Cape, well done to Rudy really see a beautiful running. Unfortunately, uh, Conradi had a stumble over the hurdles and never managed to uh, get his balance back. So he will unfortunately get disqualified. You can see the disappointment there from him.